Hey guys, it's Ryan from jrocks.com. Uh, we'll be going through a tutorial today on uh, adding downloadable products in Gem. First off, you have to log into your members area or your admin area in Gem. Click on the products, manage products area. As you can see here, we have a couple of uh, sample products already. Um, right now, let's go ahead and click add product, and we're going to add a let's say a digital ebook so let's just say ebook one and the 1995 price make sure you select the digital product type here and click submit now let's go ahead and uh, edit this ebook Right here we have the status, we want to set that to active so that uh, it will show up on our on our product pages, uh, product store, product name, product keywords, if you have certain keywords that you'd like to use for uh, searching this ebook, this uh, product SKU which is the unique uh, product identifier, and also date available and date expires options. Here that down here we'll be talking about, uh, well you can add uh, the price of the product. Um, okay, description. Let's go ahead and you can actually just type in the description uh, for your ebook here. So there's three different areas you can type in your um, your description for your ebook. Options. This area um, you can enable or disable custom commissions. And down here is where you would add the download locations for your ebook. Um, first off, you have to make sure that you upload your file, your downloadable file, onto your website um, and type in the full physical path of that particular file here. So, for example, um, if you uploaded your, uh, your ebook to your web hosting account and your physical um, location would be something like home username downloads and the name of the ebook file you would type in something like that but basically this part this part right here you have to make sure that the download location corresponds to the phys the actual physical location that you have and most uh, web hosting accounts you would be something like home username um, you know whatever your username for that web hosting account would be and then the folder name where you want uh, where you store or upload the, the downloadable file to. Um, if you don't know your download location, just ask your web host, um, and you know they, they should be able to give it to you fairly um, yeah, fairly easily. Uh, so here you can also add as many up to ten downloads. So if you have uh, you know per per product, so if you have different downloadable files for each product. You know, for example, you have uh, you know one zip file that uh, handles the ebook, one for music, one for or you know an MP3 or one for software or whatever it may be. If you have, or you want to split up your 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 downloads for that particular uh, for that particular file, um, you can add up to ten different download locations here. Um, Right here, download expires if you have uh, an expiration date that you'd like to set. Um, for example, if you don't want the user to download this this product after two or three days, you would set it here. And if you want to have maximum downloads per user, so if you only want the user to be able to download this two or three times, you would set that number here. After that, then you know they they will have to ask you to manually reset it for you for them. So groups. This is for categories. If you have, you want to set this ebook. If you want to show this ebook in a particular category in your store, you would do that here. And attributes. Again, if you want to have different attributes for this uh, digital download, you can. Member groups, members, memberships, and groups. Um, add to mailing list. This means uh, if you want to have a user, if you want a user to be added to a particular mailing list for purchasing this product, you would select the mailing list here. Vendors, uh, you really don't need to use vendors for digital products, but you can set that here as well as the manufacturer. 
Okay, let's click submit. Save these. Did they save that info? Now you can also upload photos and video just as well for this particular product. So let's just, just upload a sample photo here. just so you can see it upload a sample photo there you go there's a sample photo of a computer there and also if you want to upload a, or show a video you would copy and paste either a YouTube URL here or if you have an FLV file that you'd like to use um, but basically that's how uh, easy it is to add a downloadable product in gem once you've, you've uh, saved that information should uh, make sure that the status for it has been set to active and now once you go to your home page you should be able to see it uh, down here ebook one now users can go ahead and purchase that ebook from you thanks again